something in that fertilizer. Size huh? matters in fruits and vegetables. Yeah, it sure it does. does, Rick. And that does it for the KTLA 5 News at 6. Yeah, coming up next at 7, the power of sibling love. How one girl's quick reactions saved her sister's life when they took a swim to beat the heat. And the couple who took a snooze outside suddenly wakes up to an unpleasant, slithery surprise. How a deputy, though, saved them from becoming a rattlesnake's lunch. Ah. That's next on the KTL 5 News at 7. Now at 7, a flash flood watch the Southern California communities that are on high alert tonight as the storms start moving in. Plus, healing process, a grieving community remembers the lives lost in Virginia workplace massacre as details surface about the moments leading up to the gunman's rampage. And was it a bird or a plane? No, it was a UFO, the strange object spotted in the sky that have several U.S. Navy pilots scratching their heads. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Mary Beth McDade in tonight for Courtney Friel. We begin with a high-speed chase in Orange County that ended with a deadly crash when the car flew off a freeway on-ramp and caught on fire. Yeah, tonight we're finding out more about the driver who was killed in that crash. Carlos Sacedo has more now from Orange County. We now know the name of the 26-year-old man killed overnight. Officials identifying him as David Grubbs of Tustin, who was killed after being ejected from a speeding vehicle. Take a look at...